grew up outside outside Boston in a small blue collar town called Marshfield, Massachusetts, halfway between Boston and Cape Cod. Lots of streams and marshes and fields. That's why it's called Marshfield. In college, halfway through, I had a great class with a director named Roger Babb, and um, that one class just totally turned me on to directing and, and theater. I write and I direct and I design and I, and I do make multimedia installations and, and video pieces. A lot of my work, though not all of my work, does have a strong multimedia element and the important thing for me is just that, that that material isn't treated as texture, which I feel like happens a lot in performance, in theater actually per se, but actually is, operates as text and the media actually is treated as language and has a vital relationship to the performers especially so that one's not backgrounding or foregrounding the other but they're in real-time dialogue and actually both can change based on the behavior of the other. I heard about the Sherwood Award through the Grapevine. Um, it's, a, it's a relatively small theater community in Los Angeles and, um, and, I was, and I was lucky enough to get it actually very soon out of graduate school um, when I finished my directing and integrated media degree at CalArts. It was my first professional bump. Um, I got connected to CTG, I worked on a project with Kirk Douglas. I got to pay a bunch of collaborators for the first time with you know, American dollars as opposed to pizza. So that was, like, all those were like large benchmarks um, professionally. I mean, honestly, there's just not much of a funding ecology, especially for individual artists, not nonprofits, but individual artists in Los Angeles. The Sherwood Award is the biggest award you can really get of that kind. There's really nothing like it. Center Theater Group is, uh, is just a huge planet. It's like uh, in, in Los Angeles, and so they have a big gravitational pull. I've, I know several friends, I know other people who've gotten the Sherwood Award who I work with consistently, who've gone from being on their radar to getting the Sherwood Award to designing their shows on their smallest stage and, and now at the Mark Taper Forum, their second stage. So I see that, I see that the investment is a long-term one and their curiosity is a long-term one. There's so many people involved, but I, you know, I'll say like somebody like Diane Rodriguez is you know, basically a national treasure. She's been a person I've been talking to ever since I graduated and she's so smart about um, making and she's interested in diversity in terms of identity but also diversity in terms of aesthetics and the fact that she and Center Theatre Group embrace that I think is fantastic.